I want this year to all be about you. Now I know that sounds like you're going to be really, really selfish and self-centred, but it's not. I want this year to all be about you. Now, when you're thinking, what is she talking about? What do I mean by that? I don't want you to be stressed out and overwhelmed by school. So I want you to spend time thinking about things that you can do, things that you can implement, things that you can change so that you're not so overwhelmed. Spend some time going through different vision techniques and deciding which one works for you. Because I know you did loads of exams last year, loads of really, really important high profile exams, but did you try every exam technique? Did you, did you properly give it everything and go? Maybe you just stuck with one technique because you were used to it, um, because that's what you always did, but maybe there's something else that would work really, really well for you. So spend some time, um, invest some time in you and how you study. So, you know, do mind maps work? Do flashcards work? Does studying with a group of friends work? These are things that you may have tried, you may not have tried, um, but be prepared to try stuff that you don't think is going to work. Um, just because you don't think it's going to work, you might actually decide that you love it. And anything that we can do to make you feel like you're doing better in school, make school feel like it's less overwhelming, is going to be really, really good for you. I also want you to spend some time thinking about how we manage stress. And if we get this sorted now, if we get things implemented now, by the time we come to like your mock exams at the end of the year or your end of year exams, maybe you're even doing AS exams, and then the big end of year exams, year 13, when we've got interviews, UCAS applications to think about, if we get managing stress um, under control now, by the time we come around to those things, there'll be like entrenched habits, you'll be really, really good at managing your stress, hopefully really, really good at managing your stress, and it won't seem so bad. So I'm talking about little things like getting a bit more exercise, and I don't mean like doing loads and loads of exercise, maybe getting off the bus or stop early. That's going to add like, what, five, ten minute walk to your journey home? But that little bit of exercise each day is going to be really, really good for your head. Little silly things like smile at people, smile at people and say hello, and I'm not, you don't have to do this to complete random strangers, maybe like the school receptionist, if you see the school receptionist, smile and say hello, the person holding the door open for you, smile at them and say thank you, and you'll notice it's contagious, that they will smile back and say good morning, and you might start chatting, and then it feels nice. And once you get into the habit of doing this, it will just come automatically and the world will be a smilier, happier place. I'm not saying this is like going to cure everything, this is going to be the, the solution to how stressed you're feeling. But just try smiling at people a bit more. Smile at people and say good morning. It might make you feel all warm and lovely inside, it might not. I want you to spend five minutes a day doing mindfulness exercises. Um, now, I know, like, loads of you are going to think this is rubbish, I've never done this before, or I don't have five minutes spare a day, but it is really, really important that we get your head in a good place, so that when the pressure does start to pile on even more than it's piling on now, that you can cope with it, that you do have the resources to fall back onto, that you do know what to do. And mindfulness is a great, great way of doing this. Now there are loads of videos and apps and books out there that you can use, you can pick whichever one you fancy, um, but please, please, please try this. And then the last thing I want you to do, and this is probably going to be the least popular out of all of my suggestions, I know you haven't liked some of them so far, is just try going to bed early. Take your phone, leave your phone downstairs so that you're not disturbed by drama in the middle of the night. Take a glass of milk or a cup of tea, go to bed at a reasonable time with a book. And then just spend 15 minutes reading a book, drinking a cup of tea before bed. So that your phone's not disturbing you in the middle of the night because it's downstairs charging. Um, you're going to get a decent night's sleep. You're going to bed earlier. I know, I know you're not going to like this, but it is going to do you the world of good. And then reading, I nagged you about this for the whole of your GCSEs, but it is still really, really important now. Your A-level exams are long, they are wordy, you need to get used to reading and we need to get your vocab up. So it really doesn't matter what you read, just as long as you're reading. Um, and then 
you know, drinking that cup of tea. It's always really, really good to stay hydrated. So, this half term is all about you. How we can stop you feeling overwhelmed by school, how we can prepare you for the stresses that are going to start and lead up to the end of the year and then prepare you for the stresses that are going to be in year 13 as well. Things are going to kick off a bit more like February half term but I'll come back to you then and talk to you then.